Yeah, it's literally 200 yards from where I'm standing right now, but down over the side where those cars are, and you see the yellow police tape, the building there in the background over my shoulder is the Naval Reserve Center. The video that we took, which I hope you are seeing now, Aaron, shows uh, the car which had rammed through at least part of the gate, part of the barrier. It is that rented Mustang. All the doors are open, the hood is open, the trunk is open. Obviously, the site of an intensive forensic evidence hunt. I can tell you that that forensic evidence is still being gathered even at this hour. I peeked over the side and there were several dozen uh, agents still there combing the area. And as you said, somewhere behind me is where those four Marines were killed and where the suspect was gunned down. According to our justice reporter, Evan Perez, gunned down by a Chattanooga police officer. And, 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 and Drew, what more are you learning about the alleged gunman? I mean, we've been talking to a couple of people who knew him this hour, but, you know, desperately trying to find out what the motive could be. What have you learned about Muhammad? Yeah, and, and this falls into that repetitive, puzzling category. This kid, although Kuwait, Jordanian, uh, you know, roots and born apparently in Kuwait, he was every bit an, as an uh, American person, American kid, all American is what his uh, his mixed martial arts coach just told me. He was from a Muslim family. He was devout. They were devout. He would stop during practice, 6 o'clock at night, go into the coach's office, lay down his rug and pray.